Hi guys, Apeksha here from Exploring Life in Montreal. Morning Montreal. And some information that how I reached this location is uh, I took a share ride which costed me forty dollars in the from the Scarborough Town Center and you can book it from the various FB pages and I landed uh, in the core downtown and my hotel was near the Gay Concordia and I started my day with this metro station. As this was a short trip, I have planned on the pretty most visited places in the Montreal. So let's get started. And as being the part of the Mumbai car, I'm always excited to travel in train and I was pretty desperate and looking forward for this metro journey. And lo, hi This is pretty much different from the what metro we have in Toronto. And uh, we have got off at which station? Plaza Arms. Plaza Arms, and now we are heading to Notre Dame Basilica. Okay, whatever that is. So I'm going to show that in the vlog. And there's one huge giant whale and some kind of a church. So it's like eight, nine to six years old. So let's get over there. And finally, I'm here at Notre Dame Basilica Church, which is one of the national historic sites of Canada. This is located near the Plaza Arm Squares in Montreal. For this church, there is an entry fee which is adult $8 and children $5. They accept cash and credit cards as well. The interior of the church is amongst the most dramatic in the world and regarded as a masterpiece of Catholic Revival architecture. Approximately 11 million people visit every year and it's one of the most visited monuments in North America. This church can accommodate around 8,000 to 10,000 people at a time. It's really one of the huge churches in Montreal and North America as well. The walls are colored with blue and decorated with golden stars and the rest of the century is decorated in blues, reds, purples, silver and gold. This beautiful church has also a pipe organ which is a musical instrument that produces sounds by driving pressurized air into the organ pipe selected from a keyboard. And with this mesmerizing sculpture, this is really to-do visit 
Northern Dame Basilica Church in Montreal. So after my trip to Basilica, we are moving to what's that? Old Port. Old Montreal is home to many structures dating back to the era of New France. Montreal is also the home of Montreal Science Centre. Old Montreal is also the home of Old Port of Montreal. The neighbourhood is bordered on the west by McGrill Street. And on the south is surrounded by the St. Lawrence River. Exploring more, we move forward towards the main street and as there was the Orientals festival and thought to give it a visit. The main motto of this festival was to take your body and mind on a unique journey of the senses filled with Oriental treasures and discover the cultural rich of North Africa, China and India as well. And in addition to this, there were many more lands adding to the great music, dance lovers and cultural lovers something to write home about. And moving ahead with this journey, Iran's dance culture attracted us towards it. Mesmerizing experience of the Oriental Festival, the old port of Montreal was a big attraction for me. As the name says, Old Montreal is the Old Montreal Port of Montreal, which stretches over two kilometers along the Saint Lawrence River. From this bridge, you can enjoy the city line of Montreal. वो रहा मॉन्ट्रियल का झूला और वो रहा हवड़ा ब्रिज एंड हियर कम्स द ला ग्रांड विद मॉन्ट्रियल द टॉलेस्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन व्हील इन कैनेडा अलाउज यू टू सी द सिटी इट्स सराउंडिंग फ्रॉम 60 मीटर्स इन द एयर एज इट वाज वीकेंड एंड ला ग्रांड द मॉन्ट्रियल has too much rush for the entry so we skipped for time being and continued exploring the street as this was my first time to montreal i was looking for some memories to carry with me and i found this beautiful store with all the gift items and i have always been fond of the magnets and this was the amazing place to find the magnets with the wooden sculpture on it offered amazing collection with the reasonable prizes and I couldn't resist to make this magnet my gift for the first trip. And if you are planning to buy the gifts for your loves from this city, I totally recommend this street shopping. It's one of the best options I found in Montreal. And after this tiring walk since morning, we decided to sit near the St. Lawrence River and enjoy the mesmerizing view. It was time for lunch and I visited this amazing restaurant and the brewery which is Three Brothers and to be honest this was an amazing experience. And I will totally recommend the people who are visiting Montreal to visit this brewery. About them, three brothers are operating since 1985 and they have created this microbrewery plus restaurants 
with the France Ventry Breweries joined forces to create a brewery that would grow to become one of the most important in the country. And after the delicious lunch, we were feeling lazy and decided to explore around the street. And with this, we also ended for the day one trip to Montreal. Please do continue watching for the day two trip. And if you like this video, please give a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next vlog.